Drake and Butter here and we're showing off some of our personal collection here Part two. This is a non firing replica of a minigun. 45 caliber Tennessee mountain rifle percussion. Model 1891 30. Mazen Nagant heavily modified with an ATI stock free floated barrel, scout scope, tri Picatinny rail system with integrated bipod. Do it out to about 1,200 yards. Standard model 1891 30 Mazen Nagant. Receiver stamped 1943. Yee. M44 Mazen Nagant, one of Butter's favorite guns. Yay! Mainly because when you run out of ammo, it makes a pretty efficient spear. And I can actually pick that one up. The others I cannot. Romanian military training rifle built on a Mauser action and 22 long rifle. Although that's getting harder to find now. Pieta and Company reproduction of the model 1858 Remington brass frame revolver at 44 caliber. Pieta reproduction of the Colt 1851 Navy revolver, also in 44 caliber. Heritage Arms Rough Rider in 22 caliber. Is that thing working right now? Um, that one needs the uh, hammer spring replaced in it. Okay. The High Point 40 caliber Smith and Wesson model 4095 carbine. High Point gets a bad rep because of their pistols. Uh, I've had a lot of luck out of the 9mm high point as well as this particular carbine. I've never had a jam out of it. As you can see I fixed a forward grip and a tactical flashlight. What about the 40 cal pistol? 40 cal pistol made by high point. I'm looking to get rid of this. The carbine, excellent weapon. The uh, pistol on the other hand, I have had numerous jams. Uh, fell to feed, fell to fire, fell to eject. I uh, do not like it. On the other hand, the High Point C9 or Compact 9mm is a fine pistol. I would recommend this to anybody on a budget who needs a handgun. I have never had a jam. I'll take that back. I had one jam and it was a fell to fire and it was the ammunition, not the pistol. Arms Corps M1600 22 long rifle. Um, slightly modified, uh, custom work on the stock, and a Tosco scope. Monster on everything. Yes, Monster is what keeps me going, so I want to give a shout out to the company that's going to give me energy to fight the approaching zombie hordes. <laughs> hey, how do we know it's going to be zombies and not idiots? Is there a difference? <laughs> Mossberg Maverick Model 88 with the smoothbore slug barrel with rifle sights. One of my 
my personal favorites. Luna! The Stevens Model 320 Security Model with a heat shield, side saddle shell holders. Turning that into a trench broom. Yes, I um, do plan later on on adding a magazine extension and a bayonet lug. And Butter's hunting weapon. <laughs> It is a Sears and Roebuck Model 2012 gauge. Uh, this one was produced in 1957. And this is most of our end of the world collection. So, thanks for viewing.